Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about my handmade jewelry collection. I have had a lot of questions about where I've gotten different pieces from or compliments on a lot of things. I've had a couple people ask me to do variations of a jewelry collection and honestly I have a gigantic gigantic jewelry collection and it would take probably three hours to get through a detailed video about all of my jewelry so I wanted to go over all of the stuff that I have that's handmade from smaller shops that's been handcrafted with stone and just different macrame things and the things that I wear on a daily and very frequent basis these are probably my all of my go-to pieces um, I always am drawn more to homemade, one-of-a-kind pieces, so most of my things that you'll see me wearing is something that's been handmade or from a local shop or from a trip I took, something like that. So it's really hard to give you guys places to go for that. So all the pieces, for the most part, that I'm going to be sharing with you today are ones that they do have an online shop, and I will have everybody's information linked down below so that way you can see everything and shop for it for yourselves. But anyway, so let's just get right into it. So first off, I'm just going to start with the one I'm wearing. So this one is a macrame piece with... Um, all this metal intricate detail work and this is just mind-blowing to me this is made by a company her company is called laughing Buddha art she custom made this for me I told her I said use all your creative freedom I like big stuff I like stuff that's different and unique and this is what she came up with and it is absolutely stunning it does have an adjustable strap on it so I can make it super tight or super short like super short and up by my neck or I can make it longer um, but she did amazing on this I feel like I need to zoom in on this piece so you can see but all of this detail work this is all macrame um, but yes, this is my beautiful piece from her. So when you see this on my Instagram, know that this is from her. Okay, so next up, this piece is a ethically sourced deer antler. And then it's actually made into a little vial. So you can put essential oils in it, things like that, perfume if you want to. And then it's with a leather strap on it. And it ties at the top so I can make it short or long. Um, and this is actual leather as well. This is from a shop called Bells and Thistles. She makes all sorts of unique... Um, pieces with crystals and with antlers and things like that. Um, she has big statement pieces as well as harnesses she does. She does leather bags. Her stuff is incredible so highly recommend checking these out. Um, and they do go pretty fast so I always keep an eye on when she has a shop update so I can get her pieces as soon as they get released. This looks so cute layered with like shorter like metal uh, necklaces. This is like one of my favorite go-to pieces of jewelry. And it's super light too, which I was kind of surprised about with the deer antler. I figured it would be a little heavier, but I guess since it's a vial, it's not quite so heavy. Okay, so next up on my list of things is this macrame stone necklace. I actually have a client slash friend that makes these, and I saw her wearing them one day, and I'll say, hey, I love your necklace. Uh, where'd you get it from? And she said that she made them, and she actually made this with a turquoise for me, um, but she does do some custom ones if you ask her to make them. I will definitely tag her below. Even if you don't get a necklace from her, she's like the sweetest person on the face of earth, so you should follow her. Next up, now, I'll probably butcher the name on this, but it's the... Tementosa shop. Her name is Stephanie. She's also incredibly sweet and she makes macrame pieces. Um, I have a couple different things by her. I have three different necklaces here. Oh no, about to drop them. So I just have this little simple orb necklace. It's just a green uh, piece that she made uh, the pendant for and then she had given me a leather strap or a different cord to go on it and then my cat decided she wanted to make that dinner so I had to put another leather strap on it but it did come with one originally but this is really cute to layer with some of my other pieces I have a lot of times I like to layer these because it adds more detail and intricacy to them and you know why not why not layer a million different necklaces um, and then another one I have from her is this crystal piece um, this is just a quartz crystal and then it's got cute little macrame leaves on it and it does have an adjustable strap on it as as well so if I want to wear this long I can or if I want to wear this as a choker I can do that as well and then the last necklace I have from her da -da, is this uh, flower of life necklace so she not obviously the metal part is not 
uh, macrame, but everything around it is. And this is also an adjustable strap, and she did have some detail work on the back of this as well. Um, but yeah, this is a super lightweight necklace, and it goes with a lot, especially summertime when I want to wear more of like a statement piece, but I don't want to have the weight. This is perfect for it. All right, next up is a company called Serpent and Sage. Um, her stuff is also amazing, and I cannot wait to get more of it. Um, but she made me this beautiful feather necklace, um, and she added this beautiful, I believe it's an agate uh, stone on it, and oh, it is just stunning. And this one is a shorter piece, so this one does not adjust. It lays right about right here, so it's perfect if I've got something that's a little bit lower cut and I want this to rest like right in the middle, or if I do want to use it as a layering piece since it's a shorter one, it looks cute with some of the longer ones that I have. I cannot wait to get more of her stuff. Um, let me pull up some of her page. She does all different crystal and metal work and works with all different textures like oh but like for instance this is one of her pieces that she did if you can see that and she actually does a lot of stuff with uh real feathers she'll dip them in metal and make them independent um the one i have is not a real feather because of the size of it but she does do that as well which i definitely want to get some of those um, here before too long. I would actually love to make those into dread beads, uh, attach them to some things so I can hang them in my hair because why not? Why not have all the metal pieces in my hair? Um, but she's also a sweetheart as well and she made this one custom for me. Um, I do a lot of collabs as well on my Instagram so if you are uh, a small jewelry company or you have a handmade business, let me know in the comments down below and drop your Instagram because I love to do uh, collabs with you guys. So. Some of these have been collabed, some of them have not been, um, but I wear the pieces all the time that I've gotten from the stuff that is and the stuff that isn't. I just think everything is really cool um, as far as the handmade world of jewelry goes. Um, so next up on my list of things to show you, so her page is called Alabine and Instagram is not working right now for some unknown reason. <sighs> I love Instagram, but I was going to show you some more of her pieces, but her name is Alabine and she well that's her page and she makes the most stunning metal and crystal pieces like for instance this is one of her pendants and this is one of her simpler pendants she does uh different things with ethically sourced wood and bones and feathers and everything is just so detail oriented and her pieces are absolutely stunning so i have this little piece from her and this is a longer one so this one rests pretty low and then my biggest piece from her is this one right here. This is from one of her collections. Um, I can't remember the name of this stone here, but these are all quartz crystals through here. Um, this is all metal work that she did, and she placed all the stones inside of it. And then this is, uh, she colored the rope on this as well and formed the metal. It is just so cool how much detail has gone into every piece she's made, and you can tell when you get it that there's just so much work that's been put into everything. Um, but yeah, this one rests just right on your chest area, and this is so cute if you want to dress up like a t-shirt with like a patterned pants, or if you want to wear this with like a simple dress and have this be your statement, this is perfect to go with everything. And she also makes ear hangers, which I cannot wait to get a pair of. Um, definitely definitely next on my list of things to buy but she makes all different like uh, intricate ear hangers so if you've got stretched ears and you want something fun and unique she does make those as well so last thing I'm gonna be showing in this video for you guys something I have been so excited to get and waited probably a year to get a custom piece I don't know why I waited so long it was kinda dumb that I did are these bad boys right here these are custom made ear hangers. They're a collaboration between two different artists and creators. Um, I will put both of their names in the description box for you guys. But uh, one of the girls makes the metal work pieces and the ladder that all the uh, charms are hung off of. And then the other girl adds all the pieces and dangles. And all the bones on here are ethically sourced, so don't worry, we didn't kill any animals so I could get my cute earrings. Um, and then all the feathers and everything are um, ethically sourced as well. So I just, I love all the detail work and intricacy there is to these. Like, I feel like I can't get these close enough for you guys to see. But this is just a taste of how much detail goes into all of their pieces. And I told them, I said, create something that looks rocker and, uh, 
like just fun. I want some bones on there, some feathers. I want something that matches everything in my closet because I want to be able to wear these suckers every day. And also too, these are for stretched ears. There is a lot of weight to these. So I am definitely going to have to be wearing these with tunnels um, versus just on my bare skin through there because it's just a lot of pressure to put on my ear. But it's definitely, oh, so worth it. I love these earrings so much. So that is everything that's in my collection as of now. As I get more things, um, I can do an updated one in the future. Um, but these are all of my main go-to pieces that I wear on a pretty much daily basis for the most part. Um, but yeah, if you guys like videos like this, let me know in the comments down below and I can definitely make more because I have a whole collection of handmade like clothing, of just all different things. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you like stuff like this. But yeah, check out my Instagram because I have a lot more uh, local artists and small shops that I like to promote on there. So if you're looking for more of those, definitely check that out. I'll have all my social media linked in the description box for you guys, as well as all of these beautiful people that have made all of these beautiful pieces of jewelry. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.